Hey everyone, and welcome to stevenphotos.com. Today we are gonna go through very simple product photography with your phone. So right now I have two pieces of paper that are folded so they stand up, another piece of paper with a piece of tape on it. That way, whenever I put it up against a wall or something like that, it stays. For small products, you could do like a remote or some Raycons or even a DJI microphone. With your phone, you wanna be in raw mode. You could turn it on right there. And then for macro mode, I like to turn it upside down and use the the side buttons and I'll post these images. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You just adjust your light accordingly to how you want. If you need more light, you could always bring in another light. So something small and cheap. You can either place it down or hold it until you get what you like. All right, so let's say you wanted to do some same thing, but we're gonna go wide. Now, right now I can see that there is a reflection in the light. So what I'm gonna do is just put these and then I zoom in. Situate it how you like it. Nice. One last thing we're gonna look at some Raycon, and we're gonna switch the lighting up, a little bit of color in there, to another color. You have that seamless background to work with, so I'm gonna zoom in again. And that's pretty much it. So, you can move this light around wherever you want, you have other lights. Make sure it is a seamless thing so you don't have to deal with any lines. You can use this as a diffuser in case there's a reflection. Let's go edit in Lightroom on your phone and just put it out and be good to go. All right, coming into Lightroom, we're gonna go into our recently added and choose the images that we wanna edit. Now these are gonna be real quick edits just because there's not much you should have to do. You should be able to get it right in camera. So for example, I mean, there's not much that I would do to this other than try and get rid of just little things here and there that come from the healing. Now I didn't mean to do that, so undo. You just touch your finger on the screen where you want it to edit the blemish. So say if I didn't want this text, you can try and edit that out. The further you zoom in, the brush will get smaller, but you could make the brush bigger just by adjusting it down here, and it will show you on screen. And then from there, we could do some lighting adjustments. So click the check mark. You could do auto lighting or you could come in here and do it yourself with light and that'll get you your exposure and then your contrast. You could turn down or up the highlights, whichever way you want to do that. And if you just keep scrolling up, you have shadows and white balance. White, whites and highlights are a little bit different, but I mean, once you get into this minute of detail, everything is either light or dark. So from there, I'm gonna add a little bit of detail, which is just sharpening. Play with the radius to see what I like best. And masking will mask off like the object itself, but we're not gonna go into that. And then you would just save that to continue with the next thing with my arm in the way but that's okay. And for this one, we're just gonna go there. I'm not gonna do any touch-ups because it looks pretty clean, so I'm just gonna come into the lighting. I'm gonna turn the exposure up just a little bit, highlights down, but the shadows is really what I want. I'm gonna play with the contrast and blacks just a little bit. And there we go. We're gonna edit this colorful one. So first thing I'm gonna do is just crop it to square. So I'm gonna go into the aspect ratio, go into one to one, and just move it directly into the center. Pull it in just a little bit so it fills the frame. And then from there, healing brush again. So I'm gonna zoom in and just touch the little bits that need. If you do mess up, so say there's like a hair here and then something like this little bit right here happens, then you can just go to undo at the top and it'll undo that. But for the most part, it does a really good job. So I'm gonna get out of there and I'm gonna go back into lighting and then I'm just gonna come into shadows 
and just see if that helps a little bit. Bring the highlights up and down just to see contrast on this one. And then also I'm gonna go into color, which is your white bounce, so cooler or warmer. But for this, I'm gonna be in the mix tab. So I'm gonna come up to my oranges and I can turn my oranges up or down. This time I'm gonna turn them up to be a little more colorful. Same thing for the blues. Just gives it that little bit of pop. You could do change it to black and white or not. This little guy right here is a little color picker. So you could pick that for white balancing if you wanted to white balance correctly. But for the white balance, I liked it this way. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you really want to do really awesome things, just turn your phone upside down and leave my videos playing for hours on end. That's the way the YouTube alg algorithms work nowadays, so that would be the best. Thanks. Have a great day from Stephen Tippett. Bye.